Welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing some Tailwind combinations. We were ordering Tailwind last week and Tailwind is delightful enough to provide a table of combinations of flavors, which I think I've only ever combined Tailwind raspberry with the naked flavor, which is really just basically then raspberry. So once we saw that table, we're like, we have to try the combinations and rank them so that everyone can know all what is the best and worst combo. So we've got Catherine, myself, Caleb, Kevin, and Krista. And today we're going to be going through some different combinations of Tailwind and what our perceptions of it are. So we're going to start with kind of just the base flavor itself. This is a combination of lemons plus things. So we've got lemon berry, lemon mandarin, lemon tropical, lemon raspberry, lemon cola, and lemon matcha. And <laughs> We're hoping that they're at least tolerable. We're pretty pretty confident that at least some of them will be good. So we're starting with just, just the base flavor itself, which I think, Kevin, it's your favorite? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Lemon is probably the, the only one I've really tried. I've tried the raspberry before, um, but I really like the lemon. Pretty much use it mm -hmm. for all my running, training, races, everything. So it's this one's one. got to be good. Very only fun. one I've ever tried. Oh, how are these prepared? These are prepared per uh, the package recommendations. So each of these, these are the sample packets that Tailwind provides. If you've not tried Tailwind, we're big recommenders of it. So you can kind of figure out what you do and don't like. And each of them recommends basically those packs, which are two scoops of the big bag. And that is then into 20 to 24 ounces. So we did 24 ounces in all of our bases and then each of our Cups are four ounces of each, so a 50-50 split. So, thoughts on lemon? Big fan? It's, Big fan. It's light. Mm -hmm. yeah. Feels good in the summer. Yep. Yeah. I definitely think it's, like, the first time I've tried lemon flavor, I was thinking more like a lemonade. Mm -hmm. It's not as, like, rich of a flavor. No. Um, I know now, recently, I definitely add a couple, a scoop maybe extra, um, I think a lot of times we refill our water bottles and so progressively we get like more and more diluted so but I think that helps for longer runs but I think just me personally I like more of the flavor. Yeah I think it's good it's very light. Same. So they have caffeinated and non-caffeinated versions. Lemon is a non-caffeinated version so good for those evening runs as well as the morning runs if you're not looking <laughs> to just get absolutely yammed. So, lemon was good. Let's take a little, little sip of the lemon berry. Don't have to wash this one out because it was the base flavor we already had. I think, I don't know if I've had berry before on its own, so. Yeah, that would be interesting. I smell it every time, still. <laughs> to stick to our classic running scale. So at the end, we will rank at least this round with kind of what our first, second, and third, so gold, gold, silver, and bronze, and then we'll do our overall top favorites. So kind of taking some notes now, remember as we work through our way, we'll work our way through these, and we'll figure it out. Need some water. Okay, so we're moving on to lemon mandarin. I believe Mandarin is also not a caffeinated version of Tailwind, so we're sticking to the no caffeine. I know, they just all smell like, like salt water. <laughs> yeah. I guess that really is, that is what it is. Just salt water. Hmm. Initial notes. Salt. <laughs> <laughs> 
To me, it's like an artificial orange. Really? Yeah. Because I feel like the mandarin is lighter than the berry. It's lighter, but I feel like I have a hint of fake somewhere. I just don't taste orange mandarin anything. It's like salt. Really? It's like salty huh? with like lemon. I still get mandarin, or like, and you know, obviously we're kind of primed to expect a certain flavor. It's almost like a muted fruit cocktail to me. Yeah, like when you drink the juice out yeah. of a like That's fruit, kind of fruit cup. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. With some salt like in it. Mandarin, oranges, fruit cup. You just finished it. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm more likely to try and buy that flavor now that I've tried it though. Yep. It's different than what I expected. I like orange flavor, I just don't think I would like orange flavor while well, running. Okay. But now that it's like a little bit more muted, I think we'll be okay. You want to drink an orange juice the whole time? Yeah, that's for after the race. Yeah, you love your orange juice. Like, <laughs> it's after the race. <laughs> so we're moving into lemon tropical. This is our first caffeinated flavor. I typically go with a caffeinated tailwind. Just trying for that espresso run. That's right. <laughs> What is tropical flavor exactly? It's kind of like the berry, except even like more mysterious. Berry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mystery flavor. I mean, I like it. It's kind of like a punch, like a fruit punch. Yeah, I was gonna that say. Mm -hmm. it reminds me of like the Hawaiian red punch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good, but this one, it, like the berry one, is sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I like mine a bit more tart than mm -hmm. sweet. Okay. Um, Moving to lemon raspberry next. So raspberry is my preferred flavor. I would drink it all of the time, except that it is caffeinated. So unfortunately on any later runs, I choose typically to go with the native flavor. That truly really is like an unflavored. The naked thing mm -hmm. is like, yeah. It's, it's, it's like, you just taste like I feel like it's like how lemon is light, but like even yeah. lighter. Get yeah, this really one actually comes out like you can smell like this one. one. Mm -hmm. But I'm also biased towards the raspberry for sure. Oh, well, that's good. Because <laughs> it has that like tartness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it is a good like I do like combining them. So that's what Kevin was talking about before. Is we typically are making probably more than the recommended dose in our bottles, and I'm usually combining raspberry and naked, even in the mornings, because I'm not looking for like three scoops of caffeinated tailwind. And so I feel like that is definitely a combination that I would do. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. I like that it kind of brings in, um, you can smell it more than anything else. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's part of your taste. Yeah. So I enjoy that. And I feel like it's not, like, I, to me, some of these are a little artificial, like not bad, but some of the thing that I think about is, this is my primary fuel for a marathon. Can I drink basically six, nine plus scoops of this, like in the course of a race? Yeah. And I feel like it has to be light enough that I'm not gonna feel like disgusting by the end of it. Mm -hmm. It's probably a good thing, you could almost like switch partway through a race so you don't get mm, bored yeah. of like one flavor. I think too a lot of people use like s sweet gels, like chocolate gels and caramel gels and mm -hmm. that probably wouldn't pair very well mm -hmm. with, with these so far. Yeah. So to keep that in mind, like what other flavors are you consuming mm -hmm. while you're running? Smell. Really? You can always this smell this one. Cola? Oh wow. It's so strong. And Ooh. I feel like this is the first one, like these have all been one. fruit combos. Oh, yeah, this like, is it's like different. lemon <laughs> cola. Like, uh, it's gone it's, off it's, the deep end. Yeah, it no. smells like, like a flat Coke. It, it tastes like, like a flat Coke. <laughs> I still kind of like it. <laughs> this one is not my favorite. But I don't like colas in general. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of those like candies, those cola candies. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, like those little gummies. Yeah, or something. I kind of love this. I don't hate it. Actually, <laughs> I thought it was my yeah. I couldn't do this. I couldn't like I could drink this like in a day, no. but like not on a run. I think. No. I'm looking forward to raspberry cola. Okay. Yeah. Because I bet that would be 
better than the one right now. Yeah. I don't like this one. <laughs> I haven't tried cola until, so on the Mid South ride that the three of us did, I was picking up gels and stuff off the ground that people had dropped, mm -hmm. and someone had dropped a cola one. So I had just tried cola, a probably. Whole one of these? Basically, it was one of these Jeez. that someone had dropped, and yeah, I, like I don't like that. Like I don't like the aftertaste of what the the cola. I don't know. It tastes kind of like metallic to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end. Oh, I just know. like licked a quarter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which I don't do often. <laughs> Only sometimes. Only during free. All right, and then the, the most the feared, <laughs> most feared combo. Lemon. Matcha. How much do you like matcha? Uh, not that much. It tastes okay. like a hay field to me. <laughs> well, I'll take a, a heavy one on this. And so will Kevin. Mm, yeah, go light on mine. Well, it could be like really good though. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe, but I don't like, I don't like, I don't like matcha, right? <laughs> like matcha <laughs> itself. So if it is anything like actual matcha, I probably it, won't like it. It definitely it. smells grassy. I feel like it smells the same. Yeah. It's, it's not bad. Things. I expected more, like worse. I don't think I said this, but the cola and the matcha are both caffeinated as well. So we kind of finished on a caffeinated streak. Okay, that's not that bad. It's but I think bad. it's because there's lemon in it. <laughs> it's got, it has that sort of matcha-y mm -hmm. aftertaste though. Yep. Um, a little bit of bitterness. In a good way or a bad way? <laughs> it's, I think it's, <laughs> honestly, honestly, I think it's better than the, than the cola. I would agree with that. It's better than cola on that one. Yeah. I feel like we finished out strong here. I liked all of these. And maybe it's just like... Maybe you just like blood. <laughs> Maybe I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, go for it. Lemon raspberry, straight lemon, lemon berry. Okay. Nice. Lemon raspberry, lemon cola, mm -hmm. and lemon berry. Uh, lemon berry was my top choice, okay. which is very weird for me. Mm -hmm. uh, lemon raspberry came in next, and then just the straight lemon. Okay. That's funny. You don't like berries. I don't like berries. <laughs> oh, that is funny. They hit the top two for me on that one. Uh, I also put lemon raspberry, number one. Number two, straight lemon. And number three would be the tropical lemon. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Sounds like lemon raspberry is the best. Yeah, that's, so, that's, pretty, here. Yeah. that's a pretty good combo. Main takeaway from this round is lemon raspberry is definitely worth trying. And then I think the rest of us were kind of all over the board. I think. Kevin and I had lemon berry in the top. Did you as well? I did. I okay, so lemon berry also made it in several of our top threes, and you know a couple outliers there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Gold and then metal. yeah, of course lemon. Yeah. Gold medal for lemon raspberry. Yep. So we'll break and come back with some more combos. All right, we're on to the second round. So now this is a combination of berry with all of the aforementioned flavors. As we make our way through, we will progressively get less and less and. Uh, it's probably a good thing because we don't want to have a diabetic like, attack because our blood sugar is just like skyrocketed. Drinking juice. It is straight sugar and salt, so that's probably not the best situation given that we're just sitting here. It is appropriate when you're running, probably less appropriate when you're sitting at your kitchen table. <laughs> so again, we're starting with berry. We just have the control flavor this time, just to get a taste of what it is not mixed given that it's not our go-to flavor. That's fine. I do like the berry. It is sweet, though. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's, like, super strong. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. fascinating, like, the range of how, like, thick or light they are. Yeah. I do agree. I feel like the, the lemon berry, you really taste the berry. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I hadn't tasted it before, but yep. I definitely taste like this. So you may just like the berry. <laughs> okay, that one's good. And then we're moving on to berry mandarin. This time we added a bowl to pour out any extra. And Kevin already volunteered to drink at the end. Did not. <laughs> Cut to the end if you want to see a, a good, what are the odds? Flavor. 
Can you taste the mandarin at all? Yeah. I can't taste the mandarin in the slightest. No, it just tastes like berries. I wonder if the berry is too strong. So it's just an overpower. Overwhelm everything else. At least the like not strong flavors. We'll we'll taste the cola still, don't you worry. <laughs> Alright, so berry mandy. Uh, well, didn't have a super strong flavor. If you're mixing those two, you may mix a slightly stronger mandarin to berry ratio. If you want to taste mandarin. Moving on to berry tropical. Last time I think we thought tropical was fruit punchy. Mm -hmm. So a berry punch. I feel like that one's actually like strong enough to, to taste. Very, yeah, it's still very like fruit punchy. Like a little extra mystery berry. Mystery <laughs> <laughs> fruit. <laughs> then on to berry raspberry. <laughs> oh. I feel like this one's gonna be strong. Agreed. I feel like the raspberry flavor is also a strong flavor. Mm -hmm. Raspberry combo was was a crowd favorite last time. Yeah, it feels like more of like a punch than mm -hmm. the previous one. I don't get the raspberry super strong through. I get it on the yeah. aromatics mm -hmm. for me. <laughs> I can't smell it at all, so. No, I get it. I, I was just, I was joking. <laughs> All right, and into the uh, interesting categories. Berry cola. This. I think I'm gonna like it actually. This has hopes, high hopes. Yeah. The cola. I'm trying to think. Is it over? <laughs> like, there's not a actual soda that is like a berry cola, right? Yeah, like cherry coke. I think you're right, but it's not cherry. Like, cherry and berry to me. Feel different. I mean, they make like you know Coke flavored everything with like a berry at one point. Kind of like that too. It almost tastes like it's carbonated, but but not not really. Really. <laughs> <laughs> like a little flat. Not in a good way. <laughs> Slightly, but like, not enough. Like I think if that were carbonated, I would like it more. Yeah. Yeah, but how would that feel on the run? Oh, that would... <laughs> like, that's some of the questions. I don't know. I kind of love the idea of having, like, a carbonated beverage while running. Oh. Uh, you did drink a beer at Mid-Cell. Yeah. And you were like... That's kind of right. <laughs> and then finally, to berry matcha. I'm curious if this one's going to be good. I feel like this has hopes. It's a, a weirder combination than what <laughs> matcha was. Really? Yeah, I think so, too. Or that's just because you think of... Like there being a lemon matcha like tea, like I think of like a matcha green tea, and you can add lemons to it. It tastes pretty good. I like this one. I feel like that's good. I don't get as much like matcha, which is I'm okay with. <laughs> it's more berry than matcha. But it's like a good like I feel like the berry is strong. Yeah. And so like it's a good balance kind of to yeah. that. Like it lightens it up a little bit. I honestly think. Bad. The berry overpowers everything except for the cola. Yeah. Yep. And I, I Which isn't bad. Like that. Catherine, what you got? I would say berry matcha, berry raspberry, and berry tropical mm -hmm. in that order. Okay. Mine was berry tropical, berry matcha, and berry raspberry. Mm. I'm still deciding. Okay. <laughs> I have berry raspberry, number one, gold, number two, Regular berry number three, very tropical. Okay. Okay, I had the exact same berry raspberry one original and Tro berry tro tropical. Mm. Those are okay. the topic for all of us then. So except for matcha. matcha. Had matcha. Matcha. Didn't both of we yeah. had matcha? We had the same but flip. Tropical was in the top three and berry raspberry was always in the top three. Yep. So berry raspberry and berry tropical are good combo good as well. for this round. Perfect. So again, raspberry. Seems like raspberry is like crushing it as far as the combinations go. So, and then I don't think any of us had tropical or matcha in our last combo. Uh, or I, had I did. Okay, nice. Nice. All right, so we'll, we'll move on to our next set of combinations and be right back. We are on to the mandarin combinations. As we've said in the last couple, we haven't super gotten the mandarin flavor. So I'm actually intrigued to try the control of this one, yeah. as well as its combinations with everything else. 
So we'll start off with full control. It's, it's super light. Yeah. Like a Mandarin it's, adjacent. It's like a, a sparkling water. A little yeah. bit. It's like they gave you a whiff of the <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I still just get sweet with like yeah, the salt. barest hint of... Something else. <laughs> yeah, like salt. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you want super light, but not just straight the naked flavor, this may be perfect for you. Yeah, the lemon is like tart, tart plain. Oh. And then this is like sweet. Uh -huh. Agreed. Mm -hmm. And the naked is just plain, plain, plain. plain sweet. Is the naked one sweet? It's like I still sugar. think it's a little sweet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you've got the sugar, sugar yeah. still. Mm -hmm. All right, so then we're moving to Mandarin Tropical. I halfway think all of these are just going to taste like the controls of their respective thing. That just tastes like tropical to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, so then on to Mandarin Raspberry. Raspberry is the king of combinations so far, so... What? What? Oh, sorry. That's clean. <laughs> it's not scientific otherwise, Caleb. Yeah. Because I it's have, we use yeah, it I've time. used it for so many runs. It kind of mutes this a little bit. Yeah, it mutes like the raspberry. raspberry. Mutes the raspberry taste. The smell is there for sure, mm. but I think the taste is like a little muted. Yeah, I'm just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just putting everybody down. Tastes like what it is. Mix it. It's a little surprising to me. I feel yeah. like you can have a really punchy, orangey flavor, mm -hmm. and it's not the case. All right, on to Mandarin Cola. I'm just gonna this is gonna be just be cold. Just cola. It's like a slightly lighter version of cola. Yeah. I still think I like this, the, the cola flavor very much. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, and then we've got, for our final thing, Mandarin Matcha. This one magically appeared somehow. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. It's also interesting what smells come through, because mm -hmm. like that, is just the matcha to me. Just very mild. Yeah, so very light. Yeah. Not bad. No. Nope. All right. Take a moment. Write down your rankings. All right. Start us off, Catherine. What were your top three? Mandarin raspberry, of course. Uh, mandarin matcha. Maybe I'm starting to like matcha more as I drink more of these. I don't know. And then just straight mandarin. Okay. I had mandarin raspberry, mandarin cola, which I think I also just like the cola, <laughs> and mandarin tropical. Nice. What about you? Uh, mandarin tropical was the gold medal for me. I liked the original after that, and uh, yeah, a surprising twist, I had matcha as well. Ooh, my third. I, yeah, I was the same as Catherine. Nice. Raspberry, matcha, and then plain. That's good. So raspberry continues to dominate some surprising matcha in that round. I'm intrigued as we just kind of narrow these down. <laughs> we have more and more limited choices and thus we keep moving to matcha or you know whatever's left. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. So we'll take a break again and move on to the mix of tropical and everything else. You can be more. We continue to progress through the flavors. We are on to tropical combinations now. So we've got we've got tropical base itself, tropical raspberry, tropical cola, and tropical matcha. Tropical, I think, has done fairly well as a whole. So let's try what it tastes like without anything else in it. Yeah, I'm curious what the base flavor is on this one. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's milder than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on its own. I kind of get like a little bit of like pineapple and like mm -hmm. island fruit in this one. Like tropical flavors. <laughs> <laughs> we call this one island fruit. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, on to tropical raspberry. Let's see if the raspberry combo can be dethroned. Eventually, we don't have any more raspberry combos. So That's really sad. <laughs> it's 
it's like a it's like conflicting flavors. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, yeah. Oh, you're in trouble, raspberry. <laughs> that's the only raspberry combination we didn't like. I know, it's crazy. The cola. The tropical cola. That just tastes very strong cola to me. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's the same as the raspberry. The electrolytes are getting to you. You're like speeding through. That's right. <laughs> We've become more efficient as we made our way through. Efficient or caffeinated? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> efficient is caffeinated. All right, the final combination of this one, tropical matcha. It tastes a lot like just the regular by itself. Mm-hmm. It's like a little bit lighter, I feel like. Mm-hmm. All right, as we dwindle, we're still going to give you our top three, <laughs> but we'll also just kind of give you a how that would have maybe compared to the broader consensus as we had more combinations before. Just the top three out of these four is probably tropical, matcha, and then raspberry. But I think I liked like the lemon tropical a lot, and the mandarin tropical a lot, mm-hmm. and the berry tropical more than I liked like even the like mandarin or the tropical raspberry. So yeah. I was gonna say that as well. Is of this combos, I really only liked the tropical itself, but I liked the mandarin tropical, and I also liked some of the other like berry tropical mm-hmm. and the lemon tropical more than probably these combos. Yeah, yeah, I think the the original was the better one for me here, and then I had all previously like berry tropical and mandarin tropical. Overall. Yeah, I I like it by itself, and I didn't mind it with the matcha. Either. So yeah. it was just mild. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall, I don't really like the tropical mix, I think, with anything. I put it in the top three of the lemon combinations, mm-hmm. but I think I would just drink it by itself. Here's your assessment of the tropical mix. We'll be back with the remaining raspberry mixes. <laughs> <laughs> we are on to the final three rounds. So we've got the raspberry remaining combinations. So plain raspberry, raspberry cola, and raspberry matcha. This is my favorite flavor. Plain at least. Guaranteed top three. Yes. <laughs> yes, our awards are participatory at this point. We're very inclusive. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's, it is much better by itself. Honestly. It's so good. Like, and that's surprising to me, I think. Oh, really? But it's much better by itself. I thought I would have liked this with lemon, probably the top. But it's I think, good. I still think I like the lemon, lemon raspberry. with it better. It's a little too strong for me. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Raspberry yeah. cola. I'm curious to see if you like this one a lot, because you like cola, kind of. I have been surprised on how much I've enjoyed. I think it's, it's better. It's better than the previous cola one. I feel like it's good. It's almost like too strong. I don't know that I would mix it 50-50. I see, I like this. I don't think this is as strong as by itself. Yeah. And then our final raspberry combo, raspberry matcha. I thought you were gonna like this one, Catherine. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I already ordered it. <laughs> Six bags of raspberry matcha. <laughs> I don't know if I like matcha that much still, but, but I do love that one. Mm, that's better. That that's good. really good. That's that one's good. good, yeah. Mm. I like that. That, that one's good. good. I would mix <laughs> that a lot. That yeah, that's, that's like good. a, it adds like a smoothness to yeah. the, mm-hmm. the raspberry. Mm. That kind of rounds it out. Like less candy. Yes, I agree. Like or less artificially. Juice. We could get a bag of that. Yeah, I would be okay with that. Yeah. That's a good 50-50 split, too. I agree. Mm-hmm. I really like the original raspberry, and it's my true love, ultimately. But I think I'm a little burnt out from Mid-South on the raspberry, and so the raspberry matcha, I think, like pulls the gold for me on this one. But again, I think it's because I'm like burnt out on the like true raspberry right now. Yeah, that's fair. I think raspberry is just nostalgic for me. That's always going to be first in, in my heart as far as Tailwind goes. <laughs> but the raspberry matcha was super good. I think that super surprised me. And then I still liked the raspberry cola. So 
as we've seen in previous combos, I think raspberry combines well in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you guys? I really like the original raspberry. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I, I still think I would put like a lemon raspberry. I really liked that combination a lot. Um, and then, yeah, the matcha one was awesome. Yeah, I put raspberry matcha as my top. But I think, yeah, lemon raspberry was my favorite. Above even raspberry by itself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Raspberry. Classic. It's a good flavor. It's good for everyone. All right, we'll be back with cola and matcha. matcha. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll just go ahead and make the just plain matcha as well and finish it out in one fell swoop. All right, we're in the final stretch. So we've got the cola control, the matcha control, and then the combination of the two, uh, a marriage, if you will. So uh, we'll start off with just the cola. Are you excited about this? No. <laughs> yeah. I've never liked like Coke or Pepsi or colas in general. Are you, who, who was I talking to the other day that like doesn't like cola unless they're racing and then they like, Love it at eight stations. Not me. Not me. I kind of like it. I think especially a cola naked mix would be good because it would make it just a little bit lighter. I like it. All right, so two two likes, two dislikes. Hit or miss. Definitely worth the sample pack. <laughs> it's almost like a like a licorice flavor too. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of chalky to me for some reason. Oh, interesting. That's like it makes your mouth dry up. Yeah. All right, we're, I'm gonna pull a little, little bit of a curveball. We're gonna try just the matcha and then the combo. That's good. So, yeah. Yeah. matcha's done surprisingly well today. So, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've just tried this. I don't think I like just matcha. I think it's gotta be mixed for me. I'm okay with it. Yeah. It tastes weirdly like the lemon. It's got like a citrus. Yeah, yeah it's like lemon's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I just caffeinated it. Yeah, maybe if you want lemon flavor with caffeine, just get that one. Yeah, that'd be close, I think. But you liked the lemon, but not that one, right? I like lemon. Mm -hmm. All right, now the combo, cola and matcha. This seems like a like just out of left field combo. Yeah. Mm. Like things that you would never mix in real life. Like lots of things, you know, lots of these like fruits, if there was a juice and they were mixed, you'd be like, okay. It like cuts the cola smell down a little. It does, wow. I think I'd mostly get cola. So it's a no go. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fine. Uh, no, I don't have strong feelings either like, way. <laughs> he really didn't like that. I don't like that one. Oh, wow. Bad. It made the metallic taste to me like even strong. stronger. I felt like it was like metallic y plus bitter, a little bit of bitterness. It was just like, I wouldn't choose it, but like it didn't make him feel yucky. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to do a top three here because <laughs> oh, there's yeah. one combo and just the base flavors, but. Let's take a moment and tell us what your top three overall are. I know we just tried like 30 some combos, <laughs> but do your best. Think for a moment. If you were buying Tailwind today, what combination are you buying? So we are not counting the plane? This is combo only? Yeah, let's just do combo only. And then you can comment on some plain ones. Uh, I think right now it's the raspberry matcha okay. is like probably one of my tops and then the lemon raspberry is also a top for me. Okay. It's that raspberry life. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had the very tropical. I really liked the raspberry matcha was really good too. And honestly, I think the big winner for me was I would probably buy cola and mix it with other things. There were several for me, like I think berry cola, lemon cola, uh, I think even the raspberry cola I kind of liked. Like that was, ended up being a big combination for me that surprised me that I did end up liking. 
Yeah. Um, I had same as Kanto, lemon, lemon raspberry was the top thing for me, and then raspberry matcha was probably the better one there. I still think I liked most of the lemon, mm -hmm. like, um, yeah. round. Mm -hmm. I liked almost all of those, yeah. so I think the lemon still is probably the primary yeah. flavor for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had the same as you guys, lemon, raspberry, and then raspberry matcha. All right. So, solid combination. Cool, well that is all of the combinations of <laughs> Tailwind. We didn't obviously do naked combinations, but naked's pretty plain as I think it's intended to be. So mm -hmm. worth trying if you want. I still like naked. I would still recommend it, but from a combination perspective, I don't know that it has much, that much to add. It can but, lighten any flavor, yes. which is nice. Agreed. For sure. Yeah, and I think I think the matcha did that for a lot of these flavors today too. If you really just want to like stick caffeinated and caffeinated then it's matcha and other things <laughs> which it, you know maybe what you're going for if you're running a marathon then i want as much caffeine as possible <laughs> on a normal tuesday morning maybe not <laughs> and that's okay but yeah i think i i still big fan of tailwind it was fun trying all of these combinations and i appreciate that tailwind recommends these on their website and just yeah kind of has the sample facts and, and ways that we could sample these fairly easily. It's kind of a fun experiment, even if it's hard to remember, you know, 30 some odd combinations, but had a good time doing it. Definitely worth trying yourself and figuring out what you like. Nutrition is such a personal thing anyway that I think it's worth the exercise just to figure out what, what works with you. Obviously we're sitting here and not running. Some of these may taste good today, but terrible running which is just another experiment that we'll have to run. But, you know, that's for, for another video. But until then, uh, appreciate you watching. If you found this helpful, uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel. We've got lots more stuff like this that's hopefully uh, entertaining and informative. And until next time, keep it natural. <laughs>